Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of January, so stick around. So today I wanted to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of January. I was able to watch at least one movie every single day. I did get to go out to the theater a couple of times to watch a movie. Um, but most of these were, um, some of, um, were some titles from my collection. If you'd like to follow along with me, I am going to be going off of my Letterboxd account. Um, so first up, I watched The Creator. Um, a lot of people have been speaking very highly of this one. I did watch this one. I enjoyed it for the most part. It was a bit long and it had some kind of lull throughout the film. Um, but I'd get, I did give that one three stars and a heart. Next up, I watched The Holdovers. Of course, I wanted to see this when everybody was talking about it. Um, I was not able to see this one in the theater. I don't believe that it played around me. Um, but I did watch it on Amazon Prime. And then I did pick up the Blu-ray release when it came out. But I really enjoyed it. I gave it three stars and a heart. Next up, I watched Chances Are. This is one that I've been wanting to visit, revisit um, for a while. And it was in my watch pile. So I finally was able to um, watch that one again. I hadn't seen it since it was originally released um, back in 1989, and it gets three and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed the performances with Sybil Shepherd and Robert Downey Jr. Um, next up, I watched another recommendation, P2. Um, this right here was was an okay. It was okay. I found it to be a little repetitive. Um, but I did enjoy the story. I wish that there would have been more people involved other than just the two main people. Um, I gave it two and a half stars and a heart because I did like it. Um, next up, I watched The Fountain. This right here has Hugh Jackman in it. I believe this was a recommendation. And I had it in the collection. I finally watched it. And I found it to be very um, slow. I don't know if it was the mood that I was in, but I didn't really care much for it. It only got half of a star. I did not like it. Um, next up, I watched the Phantom. I watched Phantom Thread. This right here, I enjoyed. Um, it has Daniel Day Lewis in it. He is a eccentric type character, very odd, um, but does a great job of making these dresses. Very creative. Um, really interesting story. I gave it three stars and a heart. Um, next up, I watched Hugo on 4K. I know everybody had been talking about this one. I had never seen Hugo before, and I finally was able to take time to watch this one. I really enjoyed it. Great story. Great um, 4K release. I thought it looked great. Sounded great. I gave it three stars and a heart. Okay, next up, I watched The Talented Mr. Ripley. It had been several years since I had seen this one. And so I watched this one. If you've never seen The Talented Mr. Ripley, definitely check it out. It's very much worth the watch. Um, great performances. And I gave that one three and a half stars and a heart. Highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up I watched Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. This right here was a recommendation. I didn't care much for the story. It just I just didn't enjoy this one. The storyline just didn't um, mesh with me, so I gave it two stars and no heart. Okay, next up, I watched The Shape of Water. Um, really wanted to see this one for many years and just never did get around to watching it. So I did finally open up the still book and watch this film. I really enjoyed it. I gave it three stars and a heart. I thought it looked great. Great story. Um, a, little, a little outrageous. Maybe a lot outrageous, but overall, I did enjoy the film. Okay, next up, I watched an A24 release. I watched Trespass Against Us. I wanted to like this one more than I did. I didn't really care much for the story. Um, this is one that I definitely need to revisit. But I gave it two stars and no heart. I didn't really care much for it. But I do think it was a good story. Um... It just didn't mesh with me. Okay, next up, I watched Voyagers. This is another one that had been in my watch pile. Um, it's a sci-fi type film. Really got into the story. I really enjoyed it. Um, I gave this one two and a half stars in a heart. I did like it. It wasn't the best film, but it wasn't terrible. And that's one that I would definitely revisit again. Okay, next up, I watched Red Eye. 
Um, this right here is another one that had been in the watch pile for a while. It's got Rachel McAdams and Cillian Murphy in it. Um, I did finally open this one up and watch it. I enjoyed it for what it was. It only got two stars and a heart because I did like it, but it wasn't the best film. Okay, next up, I watched Kindred. Kindred, um, I do not remember very much about Kindred, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, I, I think I remember now. I believe this is the one where um, a guy and his girlfriend are expecting a baby and something happens to where this lady is kind of trapped in this family home and I enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty good thriller type movie. I gave it two stars and a heart. Um, yeah, so pretty good. Next up, I watched The Guns of Navarone. I did finally get around to opening up the still book and watching this. I had never seen this one before. I really enjoyed it. It was a little bit slow, um, but I did give it three stars and a heart. Okay, next up, I watched Seven. It had been several years since I watched this one. I wanted to open up the still book. Um, of course, I love Seven. Great performances. Three star, three and a half stars and a heart. Um, next up, I watched Midnight Special. This right here is a... Um, I don't know. It's really hard to explain. It's a sci-fi type drama. Um, I enjoy the performances. It got two and a half stars and a heart. I did finally open up Paddington. I had never seen Paddington before. I've heard a lot of people talk great things about it. Um, I thought it was a good family movie. And it got two stars and a heart. I opened up this still book for Macbeth. Very boring movie. I could not get into it. It was terrible. For me, it was terrible. And it just got one star. Um, <clears throat> the next movie that I watched was Mission Impossible. Um, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Did not get to see this one in the theater. Was just now able to take time to watch this one, and I'm very happy that I did. I hate that I missed it in the theater because it was so great. Probably one of my favorite watches of the whole month. It gets four stars and a heart. I love the story. I love Mission Impossible, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next one. Okay, next up, I watched The Raid Redemption. I opened up my still book. Really enjoyed this one. Um... The, the fight scenes were a little bit repetitive, but overall, I enjoyed the film. It did only get two stars and a heart, but I still enjoy the film. Um, next up, I watched Terrified. This one was a little weird. I liked it for what it was. It only got one star, um, which seems kind of unusual that I would like it and it only get one star. But the reason why it gets one star is because overall, I thought it was a pretty good telling of this story. The visual effects were great, but the story overall was kind of lacking. Um, but overall, the creature effect looked great. So that's terrified. One star and a heart. Next up, I watched Grand Hotel. i never seen this one before. I opened up my still book. This one was kind of dull for me. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. It is old Hollywood. It's got Joan Crawford in it. Um, did not like it. It only got two stars, no heart. But that might be one I need to check out again. Okay, next up, um, I watched Killers of the Flower Moon. I did stream that one. Wanted to see it. Really enjoyed it. I thought it had some really great performances. It was a bit long, but overall I really enjoyed the story. And it got um, three stars and a heart. Okay, next up, I opened up the 4K Criterion release for Lone Star. Lone Star, I did not care for. I don't know what, what, what it was about it. It was kind of slow and dull to me. I only gave it one star, no heart. I did not care much about it. That might be one I need to check out again. Okay, next up, I watched Unlawful Entry. Um, really enjoyed this one. This was my second time watching this film. Um, I hadn't seen it since it was first released. So when um, Shout Factory put this release out, I definitely snatched one up. And I enjoyed it. Three stars and a heart. Great storyline. Great thriller. Great performances by everybody involved. Okay, next up, I watched... I went to the theater, and I watched Poor Things, not knowing what I was getting into. Poor Things got one star, no heart. I, I did not know what the film was about, and I was kind of shocked about the content of the film. 
it was a bit much for me. Um, but I did sit through the whole thing. I don't usually walk out of a movie. But I did not care much for the, the storyline in general. Um, so, one star for poor things. I know a lot of people love the film, and I... This this is my only this is my own personal opinion. Okay, next up, I watched a few good men. Um, this was my second time watching this one. I opened up the still books. I wanted to check it out, and really enjoyed the story. I really enjoyed Demi Moore and Tom Cruise's performance. Of course, Jack Nicholson is in there. Um, it gets three and a half stars in a heart. Um, next up, I watched Sunshine. I had never saw this one. This had been sitting in the watch pile for a long time. Finally got around to watching this one. Really loved this story. Great, sci great science fiction type story. Um, really interesting story. Um, definitely check it out if you've never seen it. It gets three stars and a heart. Next up, I watched Bully. This was my only. This is the second time I had watched Bully since it came out. Um, I gave it two stars and a heart. Um, the reason why I gave it two stars is I enjoyed the storyline. For the most part, I do enjoy a storyline based off of what this is based off of. I um, didn't care much for the all the nudity and stuff in the film, um, but overall I thought it was some really good performances. Um, next up I watched Hostel. This one only got one star, no heart. I, the first half of this movie I didn't care much for. The second half was better. I enjoyed more of the kills and the um, the violent nature of it more than the first half of the film, which was not that. Okay, next up, I watched Safe House. Um, opened up the still book. I never had seen Safe House before. Gave this one three stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this film. I thought Denzel Washington and um, what's his name? Denzel Washington and what is his name? Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds did a great job in this film. I enjoyed the story. Um, very a lot of action, a lot of great scenes in it. Highly recommend you check that one out. Next up, this was my second time watch since the movie came out. And that's Boogie Nights. Um, I opened up my still book because I wanted to check it out again. Did not care for it. I don't remember liking it the first time around, but I did buy the still book when it came out because the still book looked great. Um, but after watching it again, it definitely was not a film for me. I gave it one star, one and a half stars, and no heart. I didn't care much for it. It felt really cheesy and low budget. When I say low, I guess low budget as far as the storyline maybe, or the way that the performances were delivered, I didn't care much for it. Okay, next up, I watched Silent Night. I did not get to see this one in the theater. When the steelbook came in, I opened it up and I watched it. it um, I enjoyed it for the most part. It had some good action scenes. It had some good um, car chases. But overall, I didn't like the film as much as I thought I would. I only gave it two stars and a heart. Okay, next up, I watched Thanksgiving. This is another one that I didn't get to see in the theater that I heard great things about. Um, really enjoyed this um, slasher film. Um, and it's nice to have a Thanksgiving slasher now. And I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. And then the last film that I watched for the month of January was Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story. I had never seen this one before. I did purchase the still book, of course. Love the artwork. Wasn't very familiar with the story. It was a bit over the top as far as the story goes. Um, I only gave it two stars and no heart. I didn't really care much for it. Overall, I thought it was a fun watch for the time that I watched it, but I do not see myself revisiting this film anytime soon. So those are all the films that I watched during the month of January. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I watched and some of your opinions about what I said about some of these films. And also let me know what you were able to watch during the month of January because I'm always happy to read your comments and I love getting your recommendations for what I need to watch um, for the next month. 
So please leave your recommendations down below also. But if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on X. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.